Roberts. Can we start? Hello everyone, this is DNM Connection number two. Yay! We are going to talk about the digital trends of February 2019. I'm Paula and I'm a PDD student of marketing manager here at Langara. And I'm Bruno, a business administration student at Langara as well. And we are part of the DMM club that is the digital media marketing club here at Langara. And if you're watching, probably you already know us. So. Yeah. <laughs> this is the second time. Yeah, so we brought the trends of February, lots of stuff happened also in March. So we have the next one probably on the next 20 days, maybe. Yeah, for sure. And, and if you didn't watch the first one, we talked a lot about the Super Bowl ads and super fun. It was our first uh, live and we are really proud of the job that we've been doing this term here at the DMM Club. And also, we have a new goal for our YouTube channel, is to get to 100 subscribers. So, please Help us. Yeah. subscribe to the channel. Share like. with your friends, if you're a family. Please help us, guys. It's important for the club and also that we have we can customize our URLs so to give you a better experience exactly. to find us. <laughs> and today I'm sponsored by the LSN, the School of Management of Langara. Are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what's the first trend? Let's talk about Google. Okay, the first trend. Google takes its first steps towards killing the URL. So what that means, uh, Google is making a study to verify how people access the websites. So it's not that they are killing the URLs, but they are trying to find a new way to connect to websites. So they are making some tests on Google Chrome and they are worried about the security of websites. So for example, it's very often that we when you receive a, an email about Apple and then you click and you go to a website that looks like Apple, but the URL is like apple1.ca, but of course it's not the official website, it's a phishing website. So people are taking your information, your personal information, credit card information or whatever. So uh, of course misleading users. So Google is trying to fight against this. They're trying to protect the users, right? Yeah, basically. It's, it's, a, it's a safety, security measure so they can protect our information. We know now that having our information out there is one of the worst things that we are all concerned about this. So having Google to res at least research how to do a, a better job protecting our info, we are already happy about it. Yeah, I think it's it's a responsibility because they are the biggest company on the internet in the world, so they have to care about this. And definitely, and, and usually we when we are going to search for something, we go to Google, so they give yeah. us the phishing links and. Yeah, exactly. The, so they are doing exactly what he said. So when you research for something, and you're probably not never gonna see the first page as a phishing website. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they take they are taking care of a lot about this, but definitely they are not killing the URL, but they are bringing us a new experience mm -hmm. for the users and a safety experience. Mm -hmm. Do you think they are going to implement this in the, like, next month? No, no, probably not. They're still this, trying. This year, probably, but uh, they always do the, the re release and launch this kind of, of trend on the Google environment, so probably on Google Chrome or beta, for beta users, mm -hmm. developers and people like this. And, so I don't know, but probably I don't know if this year, probably. Okay. Let's yeah, we, we hope that they do this as soon as possible. As soon as possible, because uh, I've been hearing a lot of people, friends, and people around me talking about 
they got stole from a website because they trusted and they put the information. So before you put your information out there, take a look at the URL. There probably has a number or instead of an O, it's a zero. So it's yeah, like Google, instead of O, it's a zero. Two zero, yeah. double zero, right? So please be aware of the URL. It's one of the first steps to not get caught in this kind of situation. Uh, they use a lot of email marketing for doing. Yeah, issues. don't don't just click on the email that you got that you don't really are sure about it. Yeah, you don't trust or it's a, a trustable source. Yeah, especially if it's a bank account or a credit card account. Yeah, don't exactly. just go clicking there. Uh, it's it's been a constant problem, and we really have that Google is trying to figure it out a way to protect us. And also, it turns out that banks don't keep in touch with you by email. They all they probably gonna call you or do something different. Send you a letter. Send you a letter. That is more. They're trustful. still old school. Yeah, but it's more trustful. Right? Yeah, don't just go saying giving your information out there is not a good thing for you. Yeah, let's see the next steps of the URL experience. So, next trend about Google. Same topic, same issues, people spreading fake information. So they're having lots of issues with Google Maps and Google My Business because uh, lots of people are registering and putting fake information about companies, especially and places. So sometimes even a competitor is creating like a, a fake website or a fake number, a fake address about its competitor. So, so they mislead our customers. Yeah, exactly. So they are having lots of issues with fake information on these platforms. And what they did now was a complaint form that you had to fill and guarantee the authenticity, authenticity of the information. So that's how they verify right now uh, the information is on Google Maps and also business because before it was pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. You just put information about a place that doesn't exist or a place that already exists and no one owns the place mm -hmm. and you can change. You could change at any time. Right mm -hmm. now you can't. So you have this complaint form to guarantee the authenticity, authenticity of the place. We are having trouble with these words since yeah. the morning. Authenticity. Alton, yeah. Authenticity. We know that Wikipedia had to have some measures like three or four years ago to protect their content because people were going uh, to some of the pages at Wikipedia and changing the information. So now they have a, how do I say it? No, they have a problem with open sources. So, so it's a authenticity. No, cu cu curation. Curatorship. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. We and have curators. That's it. We have curators that are looking for all the content now at Wikipedia because like two or three years ago, it was an open source and everyone go there and put whatever they want. And they have a lot of issues with big artists having their biography changed. So sometimes it was a really... Uh, I had an experience with like this. So I tried to change information and of course it wasn't a fake information. It was a true information, but I couldn't change because a curator uh, sent me an email and said, oh, you can't do this, so to change this information, you must do this, 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 and follow these steps. So it's not that easy as it was before. So yeah, they have the, this knowledge right now, they develop the, this way of verified information, and of course, not the most trustable source in the world. You can use like a, Academic, academic source, for example, yeah. but but yeah, lots of people use Wikipedia just to check out some information and to learn whatnot. something like uh, in a fast way. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we know that we are having a really huge problem with fake news all around the world. We as Brazilians are so sure of it, but we have to really be careful with whatever we receive through whatever, like. WhatsApp is a message uh, I think WhatsApp app. is the worst one right now. Yeah, and 
even a post at Facebook, people just share information without the knowledge well, that they're... the real source, right? Exactly. Sometimes I, I see on my Facebook feed, uh, like, this child is lost, and it's people didn't even check it and out. it's unbelievable that people like they are real smart and intelligent are also sharing stuff that they don't know the, the true, true source, if that is really real or not. Yeah, we never know if it, the information is really trustworthy, so we have to be careful. The internet era is different. We cannot trust everything that we receive. We cannot share just because we want to share. We have to really check out all the information. And we're really glad that Google is really looking for uh, no users. To, to make it the information safer. Right? Yeah, and to, to look out for users. Because yeah. we I receive have, so many fake news. What I see is my opinion, of course. Uh, I think people are getting lazy and lazy and lazy every I day. So really they just read the headlines of the news and think they don't know about the topic, you know? So that they are able to discuss about the, the topic. Without even reading the whole yeah, of exactly. it? Yeah, we, we've been seeing this a lot nowadays and I totally agree with you. I think people are getting lazier and lazier. And they just, uh, we, actually in a post, if you go to the Facebook trends and everything, you see a post, you read just the two first sentence and then you are expert of it. Yeah, and the smart guys of the blogs are creating clickbait headlines to just to get people inside the, the news they read like the first paragraph and that's it so and, and you when you're what going happened. to read all the news is not like nothing about it and yeah. you were uh, spreading a totally fake news not even the picture there's relation with the post so yeah it's kind of crazy it happens so a lot we have to really be careful with sharing information also if you have uh, something in google maps check it out if the address is correct or if it's not, go to the complaint form. Yeah, we, we see that the trends on Google is basically about security on the internet. So yeah. every day they are trying to deal with these issues because people are mean. So they are trying to do bad things with the, the tools and the platform. So yeah, people are mean. let's talk about Facebook. Facebook, uh, social media market manager versus community manager. So people and huge companies especially are discussing the role of the social media manager and community manager on Facebook because they think and they believe that now on Facebook uh, the brands has um, a new era, for example, because Facebook doesn't have a, a huge uh, reach anymore. So if you don't put money, as we said on the, the, the previous the previous video that we made, uh, if you don't put money, you don't reach yeah. no one. So they are dividing the roles of people who work on, on Facebook specifically as a social media manager. That is a person that is focused only on the brand awareness and the community manager that is a person with the knowledge of the brand but is accountable for engage people inside a community that can be or not uh, owned by the company. So, for example, if a I don't know, uh, Coca-Cola, for example. If they have a community about their drinks or whatever, they can have a spokesperson talking the name on in behalf of the, the brand. Otherwise, they, we can have a community about soft drinks and have the spokesperson inside the community. But don't you think that having this community manager people are going to get really uh, not as comfortable inside of the community to really discuss the something and having a person from the company making comments because it's not natural, it's not organic, right? Because it, it's fate. Yeah, I know, but once we know that that person is a spokesperson of the brand, I think uh, it's better because First scenario, if you are in, in, a, in the company's uh, community, for example, that is owned by the company, you know that the brand owns that space and they can spread information about them, of course. But when you talk the second scenario, uh, I think 
if someone talks about the brand, the spokesperson is there to take questions and for, I don't know. For me, it's my personal opinion. It looks paid, and it doesn't look that I I wouldn't really trust that information. That's why the community manager must be good, you know, because yeah, it, it must be it good, must but natural. It, but don't you think they shouldn't connect these spokespersons with the name of the company? So just have some as if it, instead of an employee, it was a brand ambassador. Yeah, it's kind of because it's if it, when it look looks paid, I think people start uh, not believing as much because it's like the, a, a the guys receiving money. It's to like be a there. digital influencer when you see the post that is totally sponsored and is total fake. People hate this kind of uh, sponsorship, you know. So that's why the community manager is a person that really must have a knowledge about the brand, must be natural, and must engage people with uh, trustable information and trying to be impaired, impartial, you know what I mean? But when you are defending the brand, uh, don't you think that having the name of the company on your username is going to lead to misinterpretation no. of I whatever see. you're talking about? Because if I say to you, Bruno, I don't like your shirt, but it's you your shirt. You told me that before. Sorry. <laughs> but if I say this to you and you start defending your shirt, I believe that you really like the shirt. But if I say this to a sale associate, oh my God, I don't like the shirt on Bruno, and sh the person starts defending the shirt on you, I'll be like, what? You only, you only want to sell more. You're yeah, not there you. just being yeah that's why i see the, this role like a, a public relations you know it's a pr person so it's not a person to sell something it's a person to make the information clear to those that are inside the community okay we have a question about this maybe we can discuss a little bit better the question is from tatiani prokofi and it's about the social media manager inside the community. Do you do you guys think this is sustainable for companies and participants? Do you think participants will feel okay with this? Yes. So I think that you already got my answer. I don't think the participants will be okay with this. Because I wouldn't. I totally wouldn't. If I if I'm in the community discussing about shoes. I don't want a Nike representative talking to me like, because Nike is better, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I see this uh, just with huge brands that has the power to have a person inside dedicated to this role. And I don't see, the, like you said, a person trying to defend the brand. But like showing how the brand can be different about that or, or not, or what are the options that the brand has. So I, I don't think it's a commercial, a commercial approach, you know? Yeah, I know, but I think this is why social media exists. Because when you go see the Netflix page, it's amazing. No one wants to talk about Netflix without putting the ad at the, the handle of Netflix or because people want Netflix to talk to them yeah, yeah. because they are awesome they're really sar sarcastic and it's not only Netflix here in Canada all around the world they yeah. have the same kind of spontaneous yeah. uh, answers and they engagement found a way. they found a way they are a company which company they found a way so yeah but do you think That's Netflix would have the same appeal if they have Bruno from Netflix on a community talking about movies yeah, that would be awesome. Just because or, it's your day? <laughs> no, it would be awesome. So, if, uh, because I understand that a, a spokesperson of a company like Netflix understand a lot about movies. So, for example, if, if you want to discuss about the Oscar with the guy, probably he has lots of uh, comments no, about it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what's gonna happen. So this is increasing right now. This this trend. So. But you know, just one more 
thing. I think community manager should be the person that creates events to participate, to get the people outside of the internet to a real event. They do that as well. That's a part of the role. Yeah, maybe I'm agreeing a little bit more with this yeah, role. They do this. Basically, it's engagement. So. Yeah. What do you guys think? You can comment even if we're not live anymore and you're seeing this later. We are trying to uh, answer everyone. Polemic topic. <laughs> what else? Oh, okay. The registrations for the FA are open. This is the event from Facebook for developers. And it's the biggest event of the year for those who work with development and also It's just reg registration and you can go? Or no, no, you have to apply. It's not like for everyone. So okay. uh, you have to fill some skills that are necessary for the participation. Of course, you must understand a little bit of development and other, other skills that you must have. And also you have to pay a lot of money to oh, be on the, at the Silicon it's Valley. Paid. Yeah. But it's the event that brings all basically all the, the most famous trends in the whole year. And Facebook, uh, the own Mark Zuckerberg will be there yeah. presenting the event. So every year he is there and he brings all the, the new information after this event that is happening on it next April. Oh my God, I don't, I don't, we are not going to be choose, like, we are not developers. I applied last year. Really? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I received, oh, oh, unfortunately you could not be with us this year, but. I, I, I don't know why. <laughs> you guys should, you go guys should apply, because then you receive a message to watch the event live. Oh, okay. oh it's a really good uh, yeah. tip. It's pretty good. But do you think whatever they release in the, say in this F8 event is going to be the news for the whole year? Yeah, because it's like you bring the best developers in the world in one place, so Ooh. the biggest ideas. I, I will there. try to apply just to have the link to watch it live. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's a, so I think we should do it. Yeah. Maybe the next uh, D uh, DMM connection, we should talk about it. <laughs> Let's say that we have a club in yeah. Canada. <laughs> we have a club. We have a we are purchasing yeah. the club. Great. So if you want, apply and try a golden spot for you. I'll I'll send this to some of my friends. I think they have yeah. what it takes to be there. Next. Maybe not the money. <laughs> It's a very technical issue, this trend. So I'll let Bruno explain everything about it. Yeah, so if you are an advertiser at Facebook, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're not, I'll try to explain as better as possible. So when you try to boost your ads on Facebook, you put like, um, I don't know, 100 bucks for a campaign and Facebook distributes the money according to, we don't know what. So what they're doing now, they developed a system very similar to Google's, Google Adwords, that you can put a range of expense, expenses uh, to your bids and to, to your ads. For example, I want that my ad cost between 50 cents and $2, for example. Okay. And then they're gonna get this amount of value and think, oh, I think if I deliver for this and this and this, will be better and this will cost 75 cents this will cost 80 cents so it's like an auction it's like the same way that works on google adwords when you buy a keyword it's the same way and um, you know lots of accounts uh, already migrated for the system okay. right now but officially all the accounts will be migrated on september of this year you have some accounts that already migrated right yeah and so it's, it's the really user good. experience is better? It's really good because you have more detail about, about your expenses. So you know how much you really expend in each, uh, each ad and how much it costs for you. And, um, and then you can see if you were better or worse than your competitor. So mm -hmm. that's... But really don't you think that Facebook is only concerned about having 
a better uh, experience for a person that are there to promote something, to face something, instead of being that really aware. Yes. Because I don't, I'm not seeing anything that is going to uh, increase and enhance the user experience, and they are losing people. We already talked about a little bit about this in, on our first DMM connection, and they are losing a lot of people for other uh, social media, as Instagram is there, we know it, but Facebook is it's losing its game, and I'm seeing they're only concerned about uh, the experience of whoever is paying some money. I think they are putting lots of effort and uh, platform this that is basically that. So uh, I, I don't. don't know. I don't think if it, it's that if people still have uh, money yeah. invested there. The, so it's not bad. No, they but, are still the the platform with the most the, the biggest number of users in the world. But the engagement is getting of lower and lower. Native users a lot. So I'm I'm on Facebook, but I don't use it. It's been six months. So. Yeah, me too. The same. Yeah. But I I'm. Every time that I read it, uh, something about uh, Facebook, I always read uh, them are really concerned about changing how people pay, change how people invest, but never about how users are there, about the content, about anything else. And another point, so with, once you're checking your feed on Facebook, you have more ads than content actually. Yeah. So the user experience, the UX is, is terrible. People we when you scroll uh, around the the app, you only see ads, 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 yeah. ads, and then you see your grandma saying something funny, and then ads, ads, Commenting, and then your mama saying something. Commenting a picture of 2015. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like remember stuff. Oh, you're and so beautiful in this picture. Me and my grandchild <laughs> found you. that. Yeah. So I only see older people. And I don't think they're concerned in making better so younger, uh, the younger gener generation starts following and starts. You know what, I was making a research for a, a project now and uh, the target was people uh, over than 50 years. And of course, the social media number one was Facebook. Yeah. Like 70% on average of people over this age are on Facebook, so really? 70%. So yeah, your grandma of 80 and 90 <laughs> years old are on Facebook. Yeah, my grandma. She's awesome. And she's there. Anyway, as you said, they are changing something for the advertisers, not for the users. Yeah, I think they should start paying more attention to the users. Uh, otherwise, I think they are late. people are... Yeah. They, yeah, maybe that's it. They, they, they were the first and they got... And they are also they copying the good things about Google AdWords. So yeah, of course they can do benchmark, but uh, they already copied the invoice model. Now they're copying the bid system. So, but I what, think what's the late. next thing they're going to I copy? Think it's up too late. Yeah, but the next trend is good. It's really nice. <laughs> but don't you think that they're going to? Do you think that Facebook is really going to stay the way it is and not evolve? I don't know if they have solution. Seriously, I don't know. They were the first one to like to really be as big as they are. We right never now. saw uh, a social media that died and people came back. Yeah, or Do you know some? No, MySpace. That happened. No, so I'm saying all no, just no. that. Didn't, I don't know. Just this. Well, by us. Once a social media that you can yeah, bring it back. Yeah, because I see something new just came and took place. And I think now is the Instagram wave. But if uh, they start doing the same they did with uh, Facebook, it's the next one to die. Yeah, it's the same wave. It's the same because we already have lots of uh, ads on Instagram as well. Yeah. That are annoying people, but but it's the only way they make money. Yeah, that's true. But you have to balance how you, you exactly. make your user experience worse and balance it how you, you can. I don't know. Let's correct the imbalance of yeah. the. You need to have user to advertise too. Yeah. Yeah. 
I should say something really important. You have to have users to advertise to. Otherwise, company are not going to pay and spend any time. Yeah. It's a choice. Yeah, I saw that many companies like PNG and I don't remember the other one. They took off all the investments on yeah, this. Yeah, like millions and millions of dollars that they're not paying on for Facebook anymore. Yeah, I remember when I was in Brazil, I worked in a record label, a multinational record label, and I'm, I'm here in Canada for the past year and, oh, I don't know, year and few days, and I remember before uh, getting out of the company, we stopped doing anything with Facebook because it wasn't worth it. You put a lot of money, but you, you don't have the clicks back. Yeah, in this case of these companies, they left Facebook because of the, the leak of information. So that's very damaged to, to companies, you know. So, and we talked in the last slide as well that all the money that they're putting, uh, like 23%, 27%, I guess, you, you're putting to a wrong audience. So, yeah, 72%. Yeah, if that's I'm not a lot mistaken. of bad stuff on Facebook. So Facebook, step up your game. Yeah, but the next train is nice. I really like it. They are testing a new currency, oh. like a Bitcoin from Facebook. Oh my God, I am so afraid of cryptocurrency. I think it's not uh, touchable, it's not yeah, yeah. tangible. I know, I, mean. I know what I mean. It's, yeah. it's a, it looks like a fake money, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and you don't know what it is. So it's so like abstract. The stock market. It's the same as stock market. You don't see your money. Like you I don't know, but it's not money. weird. No, yeah, it is. I know. But I'm seeing this, but I have money on Bitcoin. And I think I, I die a little bit every day. Yeah, but <laughs> the, the, the main issue here is two topics, actually. So the first one is this, the security of the, the process, because they are going to use the blockchain Mm -hmm. uh, the blockchain system that is the most safe system uh, in the world mm -hmm. and it's really good and the second one is that they're gonna use this currency on its platform so on Instagram on WhatsApp mm -hmm. and Facebook as well so people can make transactions like talking on WhatsApp like receive a product for example and then just click it and, just buy, click it. and buy using the currency so. it's like a, uh, apple pay but better yeah but we don't know what's gonna happen maybe because you have a, apple maybe pay, maybe, have a credit card so. yeah but maybe with the success of the currency we don't know maybe the currency is better than dollar for example <laughs> i don't think so i definitely don't think so but i don't, I I don't doubt the power of facebook and internet companies anymore. I don't know because I think people are still really scared. Yeah, so still. imagine we have scams and phishing emails and what URL and now Facebook is thinking about to send a product throughout an app Agreed. that you can just click it and buy it. Yeah. Just it's think a about how process. yeah it's I think but you know what? On, in, in Japan, people already use Bitcoin to withdraw. Everything. withdraw. They can withdraw on like on ATM machines, Bitcoin. So in Japan, I they saw a that. machine here. Really? Yeah. See, we have Mount Pleasant neighborhood. Yeah, we have in Canada. So mm. yeah, it's not that far as we think. Yeah, but I think it's, it's a little bit scary, and I think people has to trust it more. Especially with Bitcoin going up and down all the time, I think people are not as reliable. But with I think the, the problem here is it. exactly the, the security, the safety, because the blockchain, the blockchain system is, is about that. So people can be secure about this, but they have to know how it works, the currency system. But because I think it's a stock market for people that are not used to stock market. So yeah. I don't have I put some money on Bitcoin and now I call my dad to see how it's going because I don't have the stomach to see it every day. Like oh my god, how much money did I lose? How much money did I got? Yeah, but uh, I'm pretty sure that they gonna develop some process that is real really straightforward to people to just put the money and 
oh, you pay like this, and I don't know. Maybe you put your money and they use the currency and like uh, without the person know that it's using the currency. I don't know. But I'm sure that it will be a pretty straightforward process because they know the, the people are not used to use this. Yeah, let, let's wait and see yeah. what's going to happen. But yes, it's cool, they're at least thinking about it. Oh my god, my favorite part. This is more a gossip than Yeah, that's, right. that's <laughs> my favorite part. Uh, Ariana Grande is the most followed uh, woman on Instagram. Uh, she has. Who here follows Ariana Grande? I do. Yeah, I don't. Do I follow up. Uh, I don't. No, no, no. I used to work in the music industry, so I had to follow them. Okay. Uh, she has 149 million people following her. She's now two million ahead from Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez used to be the most followed woman on Instagram, and Ariana, with the release of the, her new album. Her new songs, doing a great job. Yeah, but Christian Ronaldo is unbeatable. The guy is the person. How how the many followers, followers does he have? Let me check. Christian I don't know. I don't know how much followers does he has, but it's a lot. Oh, it's not. It's okay. It's a lot. Okay, <laughs> I'm not saying this, but it's 158. So it's not. Only 10 meters more. Okay, okay for them it's like this. <laughs> She okay. just got like two million in a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so maybe Cristiano. Take care, man. Yeah, uh, take care. Take care, take care because and I She's really and behind, still behind you. Yeah, just ten million. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a really interesting thing, and for us as Brazilians, we really have to say this. But it's really funny, actually. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, the most uh, followed teenager in the whole world the is world. a Brazilian girl called Maisa, and she's. Awesome, and I personally love her, and she's amazing for us. 15, 16 years. She was older. a prodigy kid in her childhood, and she was really a crazy TV host. since she was a kid. Yeah, and now she's on Instagram, also Twitter. She tweets a lot. She, yeah, it's really a teenager, but she's really famous, and she's amazing. She has a really yeah. a, a strong hair head on her yeah, shoulders. She really only good. has 19 million followers. Only. 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 Actually, she she said she had yeah. 21. 21. 24. Don't mm -hmm. forget the 24. Okay. okay. She's she's a really uh, amazing girl. She's a Puma ambassador. What is her profile? At Maiza M A I S A. Yeah. Really good. Follow her, guys. Follow her. <laughs> Let's help her. I and know. learn some Portuguese as well. Important. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Next. What do we have next? So, Blackberry. Do you guys remember this company? Have you heard about Blackberry? I have one. I love <laughs> BBM. Have, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, the BBM was the first of WhatsApp. Yeah, and it was like for just executive people. And, and, and I remember back in the day, you know, so yeah. old. On the 90s? No, okay. No, okay, I'm not that old. But I remember uh, on Facebook, one of these days, uh, you know the memory of Facebook that they you remind were using you? Yeah. A Blackberry. It was a message, like, uh, uh, not a tweet, a post that I say, people, I just got a new BBM. <laughs> And do you know that it's a Canadian company? Really? Yeah, like very Canadian. Yeah. I didn't know that, but I think they they stopped creating. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. So what's happening? So they're suing Twitter for the a, a patent infringement uh, okay. about mobile messaging. So mm -hmm. basically, they are suing Twitter be, uh, because you send a tweet and you're sending a message using your phone. So they sue. The Facebook and the Snapchat for the same thing last year, and the process is still running. Uh, but what happened is that they were swallowed by the technology when iPhone uh, raised, and they were overconfident at that time because yeah, like there was really strong, the best technology company at the moment. Yeah, for sure. And they were overconfident, and then the smartphone technology swallowed them. 
And now they are working with uh, security softwares and they are really good on it. So they found a new way to explore uh, technology as well. And they but they tr yeah, they tried some, to produce some smartphones, but wasn't successful. So they now the software business and yeah, they, they sell lots of software for governments around the world. Really? Yeah. But if they're, they're going to, if they're suing Twitter, they have to sue like every single yeah. company in the world, right? Because Skype, uh, WhatsApp, WeChat, do you know WeChat? WeChat? Yeah. Chinese social it's media. It's huge. Yeah, they are the fifth uh, social media in number of users in the world. Fifth. See? Yeah. So if BlackBerry is going to use uh, Twitter, they have to sue everyone. Yeah. BlackBerry, don't do this. And probably they gonna lose because I, I think this is not a technology anymore. It's like a, a culture change. So the culture changed that. So we have to use the, the phone to talk to people and it's like talking in person. Basically. But let me tell you, if the lawyers of BlackBerry think they can do this, something is behind it. Uh, they have some information that we have no idea about it. Maybe something in their patent is really close to Twitter. Something's there because they they receive big bucks to sue for a company Do like BlackBerry. How much patents BlackBerry has? They have almost fifty thousand patents. So the lawyer is going to study a lot of patents to this. <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of patents. So. So maybe we, we are uh, missing some information, and maybe they're not as crazy as. And at the beginning of the company, not the beginning, but they when they were raising to the peak, they were sued for the same reason. So uh, not for the mobile message, but um, a random company sued them for a patent of. Uh, piece that they were using on their phones and they lost like billions and the company like if, if they had five billions they lost like two it was a huge process a uh, lawsuit oh. yeah and they lost like at the beginning of the the company raising but and they didn't learn the lessons so. yeah. now they're being that people you know? yeah now they are suing to try to get money maybe i don't know no, we never know. Lawyers are crazy people. Yeah. I'm kidding, I'm a lawyer. I think this is the last topic. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. And I don't remember if we talked about this, but Twitter was about to launch stories and they did. I think last week in the USA they, they released uh, their stories. And uh, it's different from Instagram because they have new features, like uh, you can have hashtags on the on the stories and take all the trends on with your story as well, and another features that are classic from Twitter. And so they did this really to fight against Instagram because they know they are getting bigger again. Oh, this is the social media that died and came back. <gasps> That's the example. Oh my God! Yeah. They are the phoenix of the social yeah. media. Yeah, they didn't die almost. No, they they, they were dead. They are like ramble. So, <laughs> <laughs> like phoenix better, no? Okay. Like rambles, yeah. So people, like Bruno is getting episode. crazy, right? <laughs> Is defeated all the time and then okay, rises so and the fight. Thank you so and much to be here with us. If you're under 30, you don't know what I'm talking about, but okay. And that's it. They have the stories now only in USA. I didn't see yet in Canada. I try on my phone. Yeah, but... I don't think we have it in Canada. Yeah, really. but probably you're gonna have. It. They're testing in the US. They always release first on the US and then spread to the world so we are waiting see do you do you use uh I do. yeah do i don't i don't not much uh -huh. i use more to read some news in the morning and i don't, I don't use it all i never I stop should. using twitter actually i always used to to read news good do you use twitter do you use twitter do you I'm two years again see you behind the screen. Do you use Twitter? Okay, send for us in the comments. 
And I think That's we're it. done. We're done. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching again. See you soon in the next 20 days, maybe, to talk about the trends of March. We are preparing for you with the deep of our heart. <laughs> uh, we search a lot of information and research a lot of information to give it to you. So maybe you can tell your marketing structure about it. Hmm? Yeah, exactly. And if I have more trends, of course, let out the comments for us. And let's talk about this. And suggestions don't, as well. Yeah, suggestions are good. If you, you're not liking our scenario. <laughs> Yeah, but these lights were better. Yeah, so. we, we are getting better. And it's going to be a lot better when we got the handle of everything that is going improve, on. Improve the life, yeah. the user experience. <laughs> uh, don't forget that we have a new goal of 100 subscribers. Yes, so click here, of like on the video, on, the, the, on yeah. the bell, this side. Let me see, this side. No, this, no, this side. The bell on this side, like so click on the bell. Around here. And subscribe. <laughs> to the to the right to left. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, if you want, follow us on Instagram. It's important. That's too. it. And also our blog, dmlangera.ca slash blog. Every week we have a new content about digital marketing, so stay tuned on the blog as well because we have um, more full content. And in our Instagram story, we show a little bit of uh, the Langara Community College and everything yeah. around here. Uh, we show the library, the classes, some of the structures. So it's really, really fun to follow us there. Uh, every day we have new content, right? Yeah, follow us, guys. Yeah, just Please. just follow us on everything. And comment here that we are going to keep checking every comment so we can uh, engage with you. With you. Thank you so much, guys. See you next month. Bye. Bye bye. Where's the soundtrack? Dun, 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 dun.